Right, so today we've got a few different shows coming up where we've got to do lights for. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up two tripods, make sure I've got all the moving heads on them and all the lights on them, make sure they're ready to go for all the different shows and the applications. So what I'm hoping for is that each tripod will be set up as one universal function. So I'll rock up to one show, set it up, do some lights, pack it down again, without having to change anything, go over to the next show, set it up, do some lights, pack it down again, and so on and so on. So they are universal for any show that I'm going to do, basically, for the next couple of months or so. And then the only thing I'm going to have to change is all the lighting stuff. So, or like the lighting software, I should say. So, first things first, let's work out what we actually need to do today. Whew. Right, so, movers out of the garage. All collected up and ready to go. Right, so I suppose I better get to uh, assembling these T-bars then, haven't I? This beam here, so when you assemble your tripods, get your little safety pins, they go through the holes and they stop the whole thing going boom whenever you're assembling them. So very helpful, very important bits of kit. Now this one here, usually they dangle off the chains like that. But um, these ones at some point have been pulled on, apparently, in storage and the little eyelet loops have started to pull apart, so I need to go and get some new ones of those. Don't worry, not completely destroying my lovely Lego minifigure key rings that I've got given for my birthday. They are going to go on my bag using the chains like that. The great thing about the Lego ones though is, so I, I never use the eyelets that go on the top of them, the big loops, they just go on one massive loop on my bag. And the ones they come with, the little eyelets, are actually really strong and durable. So those are the ones that I'm going to put on my tech rig. There we go, it's much stronger on there. Right, now we've got four more to do, three more to do. Well, one more on this one, potentially the other two on that one. Right, that's those two on. Let's get the lighting bar on and get the second T-bar set up and then see what the pin connectors look like on those ones. First thing that it's doing is this one actually needs safety chains on it. They haven't got they're missing one, two, three safety chains by the time that one gets up. So put safety chains on that, and then I think it's time for a cup of tea. I accidentally made it quite milky. Yeah, I might have just been drinking milk at this point. Oh dear, back to work, I suppose. The next job is attach these other two moving heads onto the rig, which is not helpful that I've overlapped the T-bars again, they're going to have to be moved slightly. What I'm actually going to do is take that one off and put it here, and then put these two on that bar, so that, that way you've got DMX numbers incremented from lowest value going along to highest value, which will make it easier when it comes to patching them for various different things because you don't have to go what address is what? It's all just in the correct order. sorted out for that one as well. So for each of the power in these rigs, it runs power, it's going to come up this bar here somewhere and into wherever hidden it. That socket hiding at the back there, so that will feed power into that, that's a splitter. That will then, so, so half of it will go in there, well I say half of it, one cable will go in there, the other cable will go into that one which then gets daisy chained into that one and daisy chained into that one. 
length and the power for that whole bar, which goes in that socket there, runs down and just into a plug socket, extension lead, whatever it is you're running it off of. And the same will happen for this one, so the power going up this end and then work its way down to there. So that's how that power will run there. So each one will be powered individually, so you can stick them at either end of the room. However, DMX will need to run from one into the other. So the way the DMX works is it starts off over that light and gets chained from that light to that light to that light to that light. And then at which point we need a long DMX bridge cable, which is going to come out of this light, trail halfway across the known universe, and then go to this light, which then pops into that and that one and that one. So depending on where your bars are, well, depending on how good it looks or how well you have to hide or manage your cables. So it's a lot more to think about than you realise when you start doing all the cabling, but we'll, I'll go through the cabling properly uh, once I finish rigging these lights. So the next one is get the two movers rigged onto here. Hmm. Go back on there to do a list drive. Let's get going. Moving heads on? No, it's not. I've missed a safety chain. That's why I always check these things. There we go. Right. Now they're all set up. Let's move that off of the floor. Moving heads, four of them, all on the T bar. So, to do the setup T bars, done. Add movers. Where's my pen? Tick, tick. Right. I'm going to double check and make sure all the cabling is sorted out on it now. So the fun of moving heads and cabling, not only is it difficult because these only have a power inlet, they don't have a power through, but also they are obviously designed to spin. So all of this cabling that's round here needs to be pulled out of the way. So it needs to make sure they're held around the back and out of the way. And when we do our connection show where it's going to be the cast that are doing all these bits and pieces, it's important then that they know what they're doing with the cables as well, making sure that they know to keep things out of the way of the moving heads, because like, I've set that up really badly. I'm going to have to alter that and get that out of the way. But hopefully most of it should just be tightening up these cable ties and that should do the job. Right, and on. Oh, we've got four things whizzing around. They never sound particularly healthy when they boost up, but they're fine. Right, that's right. You were the weird one that isn't like where you're sat. Probably shouldn't move it like that, but there we go. They're not going to do anything. They're not on auto mode, they're in DMX mode, so I need to tell them to do something so they can actually do it. And I can't do that without plugging in my computer. So let's have a look around the back and just check that all of these are on, which they should be. I think we're okay. Lovely, right. What now then? I'll tell you what now. I like some of the to-do list is missing. There, so we've done the cabling. Right, everything else that's left then is all sort of computery bits and pieces. So I'm gonna have a quick tidy up and then have some lunch. Because lunch is important. More important than lights. Lunch then lights. Always get your L's in the correct order. Right, okay, so lunch all eaten. Now I'm going to patch in all these lights that we've got on here as well as 
um, one of the lighting bars that I'll be using for the Glee show and also some of the lights at the venue that we're going to be doing our connection show at. Oh, there we go. So I've typed that DMX as that one in and it starts whirring around, so that's good. So we've got 120, we've got 129 and were. Good. So 130A and 147. Right, lovely. So they're all working now. Figure of a vertical. And then hopefully, oh. Now I've got lights all spinning around my room. Hooray. Using the layout that I've got on my little lighting desk for um, the venue that I'm working at, I've been able to work out where their LED floods are and where I can put the um, generic dimmer washes on the third T-bar and that's all nice and sorted. And I've also got these two T-bars here fully patched and working. Out of these three is all ready to go. So I've got the moving heads there and I've also got, come on, there we go. I've got the floor panels that are working there. I'm kind of at an impasse currently, um, so I'm going to go in tomorrow and see if I can figure everything out. The last things I've got to do today is I'm going to print off the tech spec for these three T-bars here because those are the only ones that I'm going to need to access and move. So I'm going to print off the um, lighting layout for those and then I'm going to sort this all out tomorrow. If you like what you just saw, make sure to subscribe and keep up to date with all the cool digital stuff that I'm doing. Or why not check out one of the other videos around my head that you might also enjoy. Thanks very much for watching.